Welcome to ZKTK India official YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain how to connect the ZKTK EML of PT with real device and RS-485 reader for the anti-passback purpose. So for that now I am going to explain how to do the connection. Uh, for the connection, EM lock negative should be connected with the 12 volt power supply negative and positive should be connected with the with real device NC. From the device, COM should be connected with the 12 volt power supply positive. And this is how we will connect EM lock with with real. Now I am going to explain how to connect the RS-485 reader with the with real device. So for that, from the RS-485 reader, RS-485 positive should be connected with the RS-485A, RS-485 negative should be connected with the RS-485B. And this reader requires 12 volt power supply. For that, I give an external 12 volt power supply. For that, connect ground with the negative and uh, positive should be connected to the positive. This is the connection part. You can see here. In the device, we should do the some settings. So, go for main menu. Insert main menu. Go for the access control. Here, go for the anti passback. Select uh, anti passback direction as inner route anti passback. Go back. Go for common menu. Insert COM menu, go for serial COM. Select the serial code as master unit. After selecting this, go back. Now I am using V3 real device for in purpose and uh, RS485 data for the out purpose. I already enrolled one user. Uh, I am doing punch through card. Punch in. Verification successfully. EMLA opened. You can see the indicator also. It will close after 5 seconds. Now I am using RS485 reader for the out purpose now. Verification successful, EM lock uh, open, it will close after 5 seconds. If I am again doing punch through RS485 reader means it will not take, it will say illegal access. Illegal access. So this is how we will connect the ZKTQ EM lock with the V3L device and RS485 reader for the anti-passback purpose. Thank you.